Welcome to Northern Soul. Today we're going to be doing some kinesiology taping for uh, sprained fingers. So uh, if you have a sprained finger in the joints and the knuckles, um, then we're going to be doing, I'll show you the taping for that. And this could be any of the finger joints as well. I'm just going to show you um, one joint, but they're all, it's the same sort of taping principle for all of them. Um, and first of all, we'll start off with the uh, initial, if you have like a massive sprain, um, like you just did it and I don't know, maybe you did a, a somersault and just like killed your, your hand or whatever. For first aid, if it's really painful and that and, and it, perhaps even broken, what you're going to want to do is um, take a tape, if you don't have ice already, uh, to ice the area for swelling. But uh, if you have some tape on you, which I always carry in, uh, I usually have some glove box in my car or whatever, so at least if I'm traveling I have something with me. Um, with uh, scissors as well. So I'll take a strip like this. This is um, a one inch strip So it's just one of the lengthwise cut in half uh, Lengthwise and then so you have a one inch strip at length and then what you're gonna do is as soon as this, you have the injury You're gonna rip the end off here And say this is the uh, affected joint that just I just sprained it really something special You're just gonna wrap like that Take off some of the backing, and you're just gonna wrap, I'll add some stretch to that. Wrap it a few times, like that, with stretch. And then you can wrap, additionally, the, the adjacent finger, so the finger beside it, like that, to the knuckle as well. So you're almost like uh, immobilizing the joint a little bit, and I just kind of stop it onto itself. So you, you support the joint, stop it from moving, you know, immobilize and you add some compression to it. And then you uh, tape the other finger just in case it might be a broken finger or something like that as well. And then um, you can also add ice on top of that because it's uh, water resistant, right? So you'd add ice on top of that or a cold river if you're hiking or you, sometimes you might need to improvise. Uh, and also uh, as far as swelling is concerned, you can also like raise above the heart as well if you've got nothing going on like if you're in a really bad situation um, the other thing as well is obviously go to um, a hospital or a casualty and see uh, uh, get some x-rays done or whatever and get that diagnosed now that's for that now uh, a number of days later so let's just say two or three days later when it's not acute anymore and the swelling's gone down a bit now you're just kind of recovering uh, from that sprain or it might be just a might uh, a mild light strain in which case it, it's a different taping so let's go through that let me find my lucky scissors here i don't know why they're lucky it just makes me sound it makes me feel better about it okay we'll, we'll use some red here now what we're going to do is cut it about uh, three to four inches we're going to be using a considerable stretch so that'll end up uh doing pretty good so just for a number uh, three to four inches better to go longer than uh too short a little bit if you're unsure and then we're gonna make three strips out of this one strip we're gonna cut lengthwise so I'm just gonna eyeball it because it's not an exact science at the end of the day there we go and we'll cut one of these in half so I've got the three strips that I made and one of these will be cut in half like so pretty simple so far I'm gonna round the ends off keep things nice and neat, I'm a bit OCD for that. So it just doesn't end up catching on things and then start to peel off. Uh, if you haven't checked out, if you're new to taping, I also have uh, videos up on Northern Soul channel about uh, 101 taping, gives you a little bit of a background on it. Uh, even if you've been taping for a while, you may may learn a little something, one or two things about, uh, about it, it as well. So you might wish to go ahead and check that out might be a bit dry so <laughs> and it's very long as well as like an hour long so but uh, I guess I can go drone on and on about this stuff so definitely get comfortable and bring a drink if you're gonna watch that as well as I've got um, uh, videos on uh, comparison tapes if you're not familiar with brands and stuff and is there a difference uh, check that out as well uh, so here we are we got our two tapes Two of those tapes and then the two smaller tapes, just like that, from one tape. So you try to be as efficient as possible. So let's let's start with the first one. So let's just say this knuckle here is the um, the issue. So what I'm going to do is break off on the end like that. 
take the backing off. I'm just going to push this backing. I don't want to really touch the adhesive at all. Boo! Because, okay. And then what we're going to do uh, in this part is we're going to start from underneath a little bit. So this is the flexor side, just uh, in front of the joint. So this is the joint that's hurt. I'm going to attach right about there. Then I'm going to give significant stretch. So we're talking like 75% stretch. So I'm going to give that a bit of a, I'm going to hold that with my thumb there because it happens to be right there. And I'm going to give it a good pull across over the knuckle. And then it's going to stop on the other side down here. So it's wrapped like that. We're going to get there our second short tape and we're going to do the same thing. Except on the opposite side. I'm just going to pull that back a little bit. Pull one end off. So underneath, like, it'll be kind of like on, on the side or just touching underneath. A little bit like that. Try not to tape, uh, get too much of a base tape on there because you need to do a considerable stretch. So we don't want to kind of run short. This is why it's better to go with a little bit longer tape than the shorter. So I'm going to give it the considerable stretch right across the knuckle joint and then park it over here with zero stretch on the ends. So that's what it looks like so far on there. Okay. Now we're going to take one of our long tapes here and we're going to start from the top aspect of it and wrap around and then and then meet up again. So cross like that with considerable stretch and then it'll stop over here. So I almost want to do um, let me do the contrasting tape just so you can see it better. Um, okay, so we'll do about four inch, like I said. Now, obviously, it's a bit of a waste of tape, but um, if you have multiple knuckles, then obviously it's not a problem. But I want to make sure that you can see it clearly what's happening. Okay, so I'm just going to round off here. I love how I'm using my hurt finger, but aren't we like that? Okay, so I'm going to take off the end on there in the backing and, and push the backing off like that so I can grab it easily without touching the adhesive. And we're just going to park that right on the top here, so almost like a cross. This one's going underneath, so you're going to have the X tape, but it's going to appear underneath. So this one's going to take care of, the first taping was to take care of the top of the knuckle. Now we're going to take care of the bottom. So considerable stretch, 75% or so. I'm going to roll under, right underneath the knuckle there, that joint. I'm going to roll over the front here like this, come across, and then you're going to stop the tape with no stretch on the end like that. So it looks a bit sideways, but the important part is I got that underneath there. So there we go. I could have put it a little bit more straight so you can always curve it around like that and then back out. So mine's a little bit wonky. Actually, you know what? Let me do it again correctly. So I only have to do this video once and every, <laughs> if you're OCD like me for, for taping, let's do it. If, if you're going to bother doing it right, I mean at all, you might as well just do it right. Okay. So that, that would have been acceptable. That would have been fine. It would have worked, but to do it perfect, if you want to get a 10 out of 10, you want to be a student here on taping. This is how you do it. So I'm just going to kick that off. And I happen to cut extra tape anyway, so that's my excuse there. All right, so let's try this again. Right on the top there, across, like that. Pull some of the backing off. Considerable stretch, 75%. I'm going to go like that. Then I'm going to curve around under the knuckle. And then across the front no stretch on the ends so that's a lot neater you can see that looks a lot nicer and all I did was come across go straight across the bottom of the knuckle instead of like doing the curve and then back across so it's like that now you do have uh, an extra strip left what you can do with that you'll actually have uh, yeah okay there we go um, so with the extra strip because that one this one would have been used over here but we're going to actually seal off the end so that it stops it from fraying. So across here, 
we'll just add and I'll do a considerable stretch here as well just so I can make sure I get all the way around stop onto itself like that and also if you have an extra uh, for the front so here's one here of course you can have fun with colors you can do this on purpose if you wish with the contrasting colors and stuff like that so I'm just going to uh, pull the backing off there have fun with colors why not and across the front like that this really will stop because you can have this up to like a week right so seven days or so just have it on there it's going to wrap around itself like that so this will really stop things from catching onto the tape and trying to pull off because these are diagonally right so that's what that can look like you can put as many colors as you want but that is the taping for knuckle i can yeah it's very difficult to move it now you, you have some movement if you need to, but it really does stabilize that. So it's one of those things where you get compression, not too much that there's no circulation, but uh, you get compression and you also get uh, immobility as well. Well, to a degree, not to, the much, uh, not to a point where um, it'll be a detriment in the future. So just enough for that specific injury. Watch out if it's too tight, if you feel like a throbbing in the finger and stuff, it might be too tight, you might need to retape it. So you might wanna back off maybe from 75% stretch to um, 50, but you'll have to adjust it depending on your needs. Also, if your finger starts to go numb, that's probably bad, bad news all day. So I'm gonna just check my uh, circulation. This is how we usually check circulation for finger, make sure that there is blood flow going in there. Uh, some of you with, uh, poor circulation this it might be uh, business as usual uh, for you but let's check this out okay so I'm just gonna go press on the finger you'll see it's red pad and then it goes white so it's it's pretty pink right now I press on it you'll see for a second it goes white and then you see the color return so if it comes back in about a second that's excellent circulation so the circulation still working in my finger so that's that's okay that's it that's an acceptable um, uh, taping for that problem and if you smash all your fingers up I guess you could really be colorful by the end of the day so hopefully you enjoy that please uh, thumb up and like uh, the video uh, if you did uh, like it and um, post any comments uh, all comments are welcome uh, especially if you want uh, if there's a particular taping or an issue that you have put it in the comments below I'll try to respond to them the best I can or make a video um, about that whatever the taping is if it's if I haven't had it on my um, if it's not uh, on my uh, channel already so thanks so much for watching uh, think about subscribing and I'll see you on the next one